Alright, so quick update with the ghetto garage. We're heating up a piece of metal. Welcome back to The Average Garage, guys. In today's episode, I'm super pumped because I'm hopefully gonna be fitting the Barra to Sleepy Six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly clean the shed up because it's still filthy. I've still got the old bar sitting on the floor behind me and Sleepy Six is still sitting in here, so I'm gonna push her out so I've got some room. We're gonna rip the mock-up engine out, which is just a Barra block, really, so we're gonna rip that out. I'm gonna drag the rebuilt Barra out. We're gonna start fitting some manifolds to it because apparently it's gonna be much easier to fit them while it's out of the car. So we're going to fit the manifolds to it, uh, put all new gaskets and stuff in. I've got to put the harmonic balancer on and I've also got to put the space plate or the sandwich plate and a flywheel on. So we'll do all that and then, yeah, then we can get to chucking it in Sleepy Six. Okay folks, so both manifolds are on. As you can see, the exhaust manifold's on, got the intake manifold on. So it's starting to look like an engine again. I've got a block of wood propped up under the front because this motor is a heavy motor and this is a cheap engine stand. Sorry, I should say engine. Anyways, now I can start putting the cam position sensors in, the crank position sensor. Then I can put the harmonic balancer on. Um, but before I put the balancer on, I'll probably put the water pump on put the balancer on, put the crank angle sensor in, and it's all coming together. So once I've done that, I can worry about putting the turbo oil feed and coolant feed lines on. I'm gonna polish them up and chuck them on there. So yeah, we're coming along nicely. All right, guys, the engine is finally in. This is Clint, he came to give me a hand. He works for Mercedes? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, the barra is in. It fits, sort of. Um, it is in there. It has tight clearances in certain areas. Um, the sump was hitting the cross member, but there is no gearbox on it, so that'll pull the engine down a bit. But it's a very nice color, and the color of the bay, it all suits and looks quite nice. So yeah, I'll chuck some photos on Instagram, and then, I don't know, should I end the episode here? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the car's up on the hoist. I've got the rear main here. So we've got to fit the rear main into the crank. And then once we've done that, we can, what's next? Put the sandwich plate, flex plate, and the locking plate for the bolts that I've got, which is, I don't know where from. I can't remember. Anyways, let's get to it. All right, so this is the plate from Sonic Injection, which is has the lock tabs for the six bolts. So I've got the flywheel up, made sure you put the, made sure I put the sandwich plate in as well because if you put that in, well you can't put it in afterwards so you'll be shooting yourself in the foot. 
And yeah, so the lock plate is going to sit in here. We're gonna torque it up and then we can bend those tabs up to the bolts and make sure that they lock everything in place. So yeah, let's get that done. So I've cleaned all the holes out with some brake cleaner and blown them all out. So they're all nice and clean. We're gonna chuck a little bit of red Loctite on for safe measures. And yeah, then we can chuck it all in, torque it up and bend the tabs. All right, so we've got the plate on. It's all torqued up. Had Neil, thank you very much, Neil. He was on the front with the uh, on the crank, making sure I don't just rotate everything. So it's all torqued up to 70 newton meters as per the specs. A little bit of red Loctite for safe measure as well as the lock plate. So now I'm going to peen all these little tabs over. So that should prevent the bolts from winding out if there is any movement in there. So hopefully that'll do us. So let's peen those over. As you can see, all the little tabs are now bent in place. So that should hopefully hold the bolts where they are. Hopefully I won't suffer from any flex plate bolts coming loose because it is a very common issue with the barras. So yeah, we'll see how we go. But for now we can put the gearbox in. all right guys so we've got the engine and gearbox in so as you can see it's all in there however we have run into a problem the gearbox mount looks absolutely fantastic so thanks again robbie i'll be seeing him in just a little bit to fix this next problem but hopefully we can see on the camera up there the there's like a little nub on the k frame and it's very close to the sump so what we're going to do is i'm going to pull the gearbox back out pull the engine back out and we're going to cut that little nub out and make a piece of plate that sits the same contour as the rest of the k frame over it to pretty much get rid of that nub I was told I could hammer it down, but I don't think I'll be able to make it look good and I want it to look good for engineering. So yeah, that's the next plan of attack. So so we're gonna get rid of the nub and then, yeah, I don't know. So let's, I probably won't record pulling the gearbox out again and the engine, um, but we will get into fixing it, which you'll see about now. All right guys, so just like that, the engine and gearbox are back out. Now, as you can see down here, this is a little nub that we've got to take off just to give us a bit more clearance for the sump. So yeah, we're gonna get to that. Robbie's here, thank you very much again, Robbie. RK Developments, he's bought his welder and some other stuff. Engines back out, as you can see. So yeah, we're gonna crack on with that and I'm gonna change your GoPro battery because it's about to die and we'll update you as we go. All right, so quick update with the ghetto garage. We're heating up a piece of metal and then we've got a bloody starter motor here that um, this is gonna be our radius. So we're gonna put the metal on a starter motor and give it a couple of taps and see if we can make the radius with that.
All right, guys, so Robbie has finished up in the bay. Now it's ready for a coat of paint, so thank you very much, Robbie. Not a problem. And um, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Much better than anything I'd do because I would have put more holes in it than anything else. But it's nice and removed. So if we go over here, the bit that we removed, this little nub, it wasn't a lot, but it was enough. So yeah, bloody nub. So we've got that out, put the new plate in, it's all welded in. So now we can, yeah, I'll get to cleaning it up a bit, put some paint on it, and then we can drop the motor back in. And then put the gearbox back in and go back to where we were yesterday. So, yeah, but that's all another mission in itself. So yeah, that's uh, one more problem down and then we can start working on all the coolant hard lines and get everything else done. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out Robbie's Instagram, at Arcade Developments. Don't set fire to towels like we did. Wasn't me. Um, yeah, I had to play Mr. Fireman with a squirty bottle. So yeah, but we got it all done. Thank you very much. We'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out guys.